Good morning, folks. Between the Quake Watch heading and the incredible news stories that have just come out, little sun-obsessed old me isn't even upset that our star isn't giving us much to talk about. Veteran observers, pay attention. This is going to be a day of validation. Anyway, that's a plasma filament cresting over the northeastern limb, and he'll be the primary eruption threat soon. But first, we come over to spaceweathernews.com and find the Earth-facing quiet does not have many weak spots. No flashing, no ejections, just a big coronal hole. The X-ray flux numerically shows the flat line and solar flaring, and the sunspots are either departing or all by their lonesome down south. Central bipolarity in that umbra, we've actually seen calm active regions in the past. Speaking of calm, this is as weak and benign as a coronal hole solar wind stream can be. Magnetic fields still reverberating slightly from the previous impacts. However, as it calms down, you all know what comes next. Ecuador, the last country with a great shake, just took another one. Readings are coming in this morning from 6.2 to 6.7, and folks, just in case you need the reminder, the coronal hole trans-equatorial portion swung past Earth yesterday, and the alert score at our app program testing clearly plateaued and peaked the 24 hours prior. Let's get to weather where that landslide you see in brown happened in Sri Lanka, and hundreds of families have simply disappeared beneath it. Not hundreds of people, hundreds of families. The top Earth spot right now is nearly at cyclone strength in that area, and even though the conditions do not favor intensification and higher wind speeds, the rain has been horrifying and it isn't going anywhere. Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh taking the worst of it to the weekend. Folks, these images come from New England earlier in the week. A brilliant fireball came crashing through the atmosphere. Now this is one thing. And this is another. The first man-made meteor shower will be fired down from a satellite for the 2020 Winter Olympics. Sure, why not? What could go wrong? On to the real news of today. First, we have hints about our prediction of life on Europa. Turns out, it's not just big-name scientists curious about the moon. All of the data is encouraging the imagination. The better star water story here is the confirmation that indeed there are water vapor clouds on the coldest brown dwarf we know. There may actually be rain and hail on that star. But folks, we've saved the best for last. Mercury modulating sunspot activity via Rosby waves. FYI, the sun modulates Earth weather the same way, but hey, I'm sure that's just a coincidence, nothing to see here, keep calm and carry on, unless your eyes are open. Mercury is the actor we've identified as the prime player in these forcing events in our book, Observing the Frontier, which is now only $5 in PDF form, hard copies still sold out till July. Anyway, you can find that link on our new website, earthchanges.org. Many of you figured out that we were building this last month and have been watching the progress. Newbies, take 30 minutes, watch everything on there, but veterans? You just need to watch the last one, the most important. If you can't have the nerve to try to pick apart your own argument and play for the other side for a few minutes, how strong can your arguments really be? If you don't know the story of those who disagree with my position on these topics, how in the world are you supposed to form a logical decision and make up your own mind? Playing Devil's Advocate is my favorite game. So folks, PDF of the book is at OTF. Check out the new site, earthchanges.org. The Sun and Storms video is being a showstopper with a couple folks I know at National Weather Service. And of course, everything starts at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got the current global conditions followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.